Let's get on to the ABC and The Voice and Lee Sales. Now, obviously, I agree with the ABC that it's false to say the Uluru statement is more than one page. I can't believe we're still going on with this rubbish. But it's kind of weird that Lee Sales tells the whole of the ABC about her view on this. So let's listen to a bit more of how she explained herself on 2GB with Ben Fordham this morning. When I saw last week that this idea that there was a secret 26-page document starts to take hold as if it's fact, I think that someone of my seniority, it's incumbent on me to say, hang on a minute, this is not factually accurate and we need to make sure that our reporters are very crystal clear on that point. Now, Sophie, I don't get this. You and I have both worked at News Corp for a long while. I've never had a directive telling me about what is a fact and what is not. We're supposed to be the evil Murdoch Corporation where everybody's told what to think. We don't get directives like that. But the ABC, they're sort of imposing this view on everyone. Chris, it's really quite remarkable this intervention that Lee Sales has pinned herself to now. She's dictating to staff uh, how to handle what I would argue is a debate about the length of the Uluru Statement from the Heart. Now, Chris, I know you're saying it's one page. I'm not refuting that. But what I am saying is there has been and is a debate about this. And she's saying, look, if anyone says it's longer than one page, here is exactly what you say to them. And and then move on, go to the next question. And she's basically saying, shut it down. So Chris, over at the ABC, they don't wanna have a debate. They just wanna have one view and shut everyone else down. And I look forward to the time when Patricia Carvelis has perhaps Warren Mundine or one of the no campaigners on her show who argues it's 26 pages. Will she lead, read Lee Sales' script that she's provided? I'd be really unsure where the staff are gonna follow this. Yeah, it is Extraordinary, And look, as you know, on Sky, we like to debate views. We have guests and we debate it all. And in this case, Peter and I have sort of clashed over, over this factual debate. But, I mean, that's the way to deal with it. Thrash it out, put up your evidence, and uh, you say, I'm right, right? Now, most of the ABC viewers on this case think I'm right. Most of the Sky viewers that think she's right. But, you know, that's the way you do these. It's, it's extraordinary to have these dictates. And uh, I'm just wondering whether Lee Sales is, is then, what, she's the guru on all this stuff? Or do they have a head of editorial? Or who's in charge of this? Well, Chris, the the head of the boss of the ABC is David Anderson. He the buck stops with him. So why is the ABC dictating to staff saying this is exactly the way it is with the Uluru statement and anything that's contrary to this, shut it down and move on? And I think that's really concerning given we pay for the ABC, Chris. Why are they trying to stamp out any discussion on this? I really don't understand why Lee Sales is uh, come in at this point in the referendum and put her name to this stuff, I think it's done her credibility immense harm, Chris. Yeah, it's weird. Have a debate on 7.30 and sort it out. Don't issue uh, dictates like that. As you say, you need debate, not one view. Thanks for joining us, Sophie. Always good to talk.